Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome here to a new ATS video. I'm FTG Full Tilt Gaming and thanks for joining us today. I hope you guys are doing well. We've got a nice one here for you today you guys have wanted me to do for quite some time. Uh, but first before we get into this new dev console and how to set this thing up, give you guys a couple of starter commands so you can kind of start zooming around your own ATS worlds. I wanted to point your uh, attention here to my main YouTube page. I do try to keep this updated with uh, some of the most popular videos here on uh, Plus, we've got our new uploads, and as well as some of the other stuff we've done. I've got a lot more playlists that I try to, uh, we'll cycle in and out. We had some farm sim up here as well, uh, but I just wanted to try to, um, you know, throw some different things up. And I put this one up, Modding 101, a little ways back, and I wanted to go ahead and point your guys' attention to it because I'm going to be updating this with some new videos here over the next couple of weeks. Um, and we have things over we've done a year ago which still apply. I still use all the tips and tricks in this video. It's how to download, get Adblock onto Google Chrome. You know, a lot of cool stuff. Here was one that we did with organizing, grouping, prioritizing your mods correctly inside your mod folder. Um, so when you're a mod manager, I should say. That way, when you're stacking in, you have more of your mods will actually play better and play nicer with each other. And then also another one here is how to do sounds in ATS. How to stack sounds, how to put them all inside the mod manager and get them all working with everything else and not have as few or as little conflicts as possible. And also where to find a lot of these sound mods. So I've got links with that video as well, so go check that one out. Uh, but this is all about the dev console. So let's go ahead and slide this out of the way. See, we're already in game here. So let me go ahead and pull... Uh, let's go ahead and pull my file explorer in. So you're going to want to go to a couple things. Documents folder. We got one file that we need to change before. So make sure ATS is shut off. And then when you come back in, we'll change this in a config file. And then you can open ATS again and everything should take place. So American Truck Sim folder, which is in your documents. This is where your mods uh, will go in. You can see I've got all of mine stacked in there. And on outside, you're looking for this config file. Now, there's two ways to edit this. Um, you can edit it the default way with open up with Notepad or WordPad. I would suggest WordPad is a little bit better. It's still not the greatest, but it's still better than nothing. Um, so, but if you want something that, that puts all of your stuff up line by line and numbers them, uh, Notepad++ is absolutely phenomenal, and it's free. It's on the Windows App Store, so go look for Notepad++ or just Google it. I will put a link down here so you guys can, can grab it from there as well if you want to. Uh, but we're going to edit mine with Notepad++ just basically because I can zoom in and out. You guys will be able to see it really easily. So you're going to hit Control f and you're going to look for Console. Uh, that's the first thing. So console is right down here at the bottom. Now you guys uh, will have a zero by this. It'll look something like that, G underscore console uh, zero. So you're going to change that to one. One means true, zero means false. Basically, yes, no. Does it work? Yes, it does. Does it going to work? No. Uh, is it turned on? Yes. Is it turned off? That kind of thing. That's where the numbers encode. For these, it's very simple. Uh, these are like options, clickable options. Um, you can see other stuff like this too. You got light, the, the quality and the truck light, and you've got all these crazy things. Specular lighting, I think there was some a rain reflect cache. I would not suggest messing with any of this stuff, but you can see there's a ton of stuff in there. So, uh, anyway, consoles, first thing. And the other thing that you need to change is the dev uh, or developer tool. So, type in developer and you'll see G underscore uh, developer, and then this one. This will be, of course, zero for you guys. So, you'll need to do this. Exit it, do one. And then after you've changed those two things, go back over to your file. You want to click save and save it up. Now it will save in its place. Now I've already done this, so I'm not going to save it again. So it will save this. It will not save it into a foreign folder somewhere. Uh, but I would suggest after you do this, take this config file and just put it somewhere safe. Another documents folder or a, hey, these are my important files. Uh, these are my backups for different games. Especially if you like doing what I do and I kind of mess with the games every now and again and kind of do some things with them just to see and have fun with them. But I always back up what I'm going to mess with. And that way I can um, that way I can always come back and say, well, if I screw something up, I'm not just completely SOL. So that's really all you need to do. Fire up ATS now after you've done that. I've already done that so we can continue to keep on moving here. The tilde key, which is the key right beside the number one key on your upper register of new uh, numbers on the numerical pad. So <clears throat> this is where you could do everything. Um, without this, and, and basically that tilde key uh, brings the console up and also takes it away. Uh, before I do that, if you hit the zero key, it's always one I almost forget. This is how you zoom around uh, the world you're in. So I can go straight, I can go backwards, I can go up, I can go down. Uh, forwards, backwards, strafe, left, and right. 
So the thing about this is that it is going to um, it is going to use this in whatever capacity that, that you have speed wise on your mouse wheel. So if you're using your mouse wheel, scroll it up, makes you go fast, scroll it back, it slows you down. Uh, then that way you could finer, you know, fine-tune placement of your vehicle. So once you've gotten to a place that you like, all you need to do is say I want to park in front of this garage. Just hit the F9 key and that will teleport your truck there. And then there she is. Right there in front of the right in front of the door. So that's the one way you can do this. Um, so that's a real quick and easy, dirty way to do it. Secondly, um, I, let's see where are we at uh, map wise. Let's see. Let's get out of that. Okay, we're in Flagstaff. Let's say we go to Phoenix. How about that? I don't want to drive to Phoenix. I just want to go down there because they got a trailer down there. I really, 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 really won't. Or they've got cargo down there. I really, 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 really won't. So let's hit the tilde key. Use the go to command. So go to and then type in Phoenix. You don't even have to type in the whole. Uh, if you want to type in the whole thing, then fine. Uh, but you don't have to. We'll just type in that. It'll take us down to Phoenix, as you can see. So let things kind of stay as they are for a minute. Don't get too crazy with it. Hit the tilde key, and then you can look up. This is also a way to see how maps are built. Um, and what you see on this particular side of the spectrum is very different than what you see actually in the middle of the map, which is the cool thing. Uh, once you zoom up here in the sky, you can see how this map is actually put together. But when you actually get down here close to the road, see, you don't see any of that. All you see is filled in, um, you know, all you see is filled in scenery, filled in landscaping, trees, whatever. So, I, you know, I just think that's kind of cool. Um, and every once in a while, especially on new maps, I'll get in there and look to see how these guys have layered and put all this stuff together. Anyway, wait for these cars to go. All right, so there you go. Phoenix has been discovered. Now that brings me up to my kind of my my little uh, my little disclaimer. This is what you could use to do a new profile, get you some garages pretty quick. It is not going to allow you to just influx yourself huge amounts of money. It doesn't work that way. Um, there is a little bit more to the economy of ATS, but at any rate, let's pull up that tilde key again, and let's look at another one. So let's say I want to go to a particular place that has two names. Let's say I want to go to uh, Los Angeles. All right, so I'm not even going to type, just type in that. And then it says usage and it gives me this error in red. So if you look at it closely, let me see if I can get it down here on this wall so you guys can see the contrast. So it says go to city name and it has an underscore. So if you put the underscore in there, that's how you can go to cities that have two names like a Los or a Camp Verde, that's another one. If you want to use Grand Canyon National, you'll have to actually do Grand underscore Canyon, and it'll take you there same way. So we'll do go to, and then we'll add that little underscore in there, and it'll blast us right on over to Los Angeles. Um, and then we can hit the tilde key. We can start looking around. Use the eight, five, four, and six keys to, to kind of strafe and move yourself around forward or backwards. And like I said, nine and three raises you and lowers you down. And you can also just hit the eight key and use your, uh, like you're flying, like you're flying a plane, really. So we'll say we'll just drop her down right here. So there you go, Los Angeles discovered. So this is a really good way if you have, especially like with Truckers MP and something happens, you get corrupted save game files, say you did something, it screws it up and it doesn't work anymore. If you download another profile that's basically empty, this is another way to get you a couple of really quick starter garages so that you can kind of get things moving again. A lot of times profiles come with money, but they don't come with garages and all the rest of the stuff as a part of it. So here's the other one we're going to use, set time. This one is G, and I'll put these in the description as well. G underscore set time, all with underscores instead of spaces. So after you do that, you're going to type in a two-digit number. Let's say you want to make it 10 o'clock in the morning. Right now it's 3.30. So let's say we're going to G underscore set time at 10. So now we have set the time to 10 o'clock. So now we're 10 o'clock in the morning, you can see it reflects so on our uh, clock right there. Let's say I want to make it, uh, let's say dusk. So G set uh, time. So let's say, well, I, you know, let's say a seven o'clock. Let's say seven o'clock, yeah, that's what we'll do. Well, notice how it says 7 a.m. So you say, well, how do you get the clock? It's 24 hours. So don't forget, it's seven, it's 24 hour clock. So seven o'clock on that would be what, seven would be 1900. So you would put G, Actually, let me just do it like this. G uh, underscore set time and let's say 1900. Now it's 7 p.m. That'd be 20 would be eight, 21 would be nine, such and so forth, okay? 
So let's go back to, let's say, um, 9 o'clock in the morning. It's always going to have a zero. It's got to have a zero if it's a single. And it keeps it in the morning. So there you go. So zero underscore. There we go. Zero nine. Nine o'clock in the morning. Let's say, also, I want to, uh, let's say it's okay. raining. So you can actually do this with, I believe it's G set weather. And let's say one. That's going to make it stormy, rainy, whatever. And say it is that, but you don't want to mess around with the time. You can just put that one in there, change it to a zero, which means it is not raining. That makes sense? So see, now we're, now we're back in it. Pretty much right where we were. Something that I also run into is the problem of uh, needing to disable traffic. And sometimes that happens when I'm, uh, sometimes I just want to pull a really, really, really crazy huge load and the traffic does not really work all that well when you've got abnormal size um, uh, trailers and cargo that you're pulling with these trucks sometimes inside ATS. So sometimes I will use this. So we'll hit the tilde key, we'll pull this up and in G underscore traffic, right now it's set to one because one means it's true that it's working. Set it to zero and there you go. You actually saw the traffic just disappear right out from under. So if you were to look around, um, let's see, let's look around. You've still got the, the, the ambient sounds from the sound, but there is no traffic in this game whatsoever. So after you've done that, I'm like, oh crap. All you got to do is type in the same one, G underscore traffic, and change the zero to a one. And at certain points, you'll start to see the cars starting to come back into light. It'll take them a while to kind of draw them back in, uh, but you will start to see the traffic starting to repopulate in the map. Um, so anyway, that is just, that is really a good one. You can see here, there are a lot of things that a lot of times modders will, will, uh, use in here to kind of, you know, check some things. Uh, some of these things you can, uh, mess with, but, um, I personally don't mess with any of this stuff because this happens over the game, not just, not necessarily just for, um, whatever you are doing. So if, if this screen ever comes up, um, and you don't really know what to do, then you just hit the tilde key and, and clock it back over and it's fine. Um, so anyway, so this one I can just start driving and don't have to worry about anything. So that's a little bit of a run through here just on uh, the dev console. So one of you guys, you know, enjoy this. Let me know if there's any questions about this. Just make sure you get the two files changed uh, and then remember that key to bring it up and back. I will say this. Whenever you pull this, uh, this, this uh, console screen up, you will lose control of your controls you will lose control of everything inside the sim because it basically detaches you from the sim and operates the game and then it waits till the command has been entered and then it puts you back into the game so if you you know you're riding down the road 80 miles an hour and you hit this then you're not going to be able to control it with the wheel so whatever you do make sure you're doing it from a parked location have some fun with it i hope it saves you some time and rebuilding some quick profiles if you need to like i said it only is going to give you the option of opening up your um, your garages and that kind of stuff. It is not going to open up uh, huge amounts of bank account money for you. That's not how this thing operates. Uh, like I said before, there is a ton of economy stuff that goes along you know, with that to be able to give everybody tons of money. So anyway, I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this. Uh, and like I said, leave a like and subscribe if you haven't, if you want to kind of keep up with more of these mod videos and how to's with ATS. Uh, and uh, I guess I'll throw a big shout out there to Squirrels, original guy with the dev console. But there was a lot of my guys said, hey, man, you want to do one a little bit updated with some, some, some of the new commands and some other stuff that I've come up with. But these are really ab about the best ones and about the easiest ones. There are some other ones like V-Sync and full screen and uh, you can disable like disable penalties. But you can also just literally hit escape and do it in your own options. So, you know, stuff like that. So some things are useful. Some things really are just like another lazy way to go about doing something it doesn't to me doesn't really matter um, you can create save games and those kinds of stuff while you're in game without having to exit back into the menu so you know some stuff like that i'll put a few of these um, commands in here in the description also put a link in for notepads so anyway that's it for me guys i will see y'all here in the next ats or ets video or whatever the heck we're playing and driving here in the next little bit so guys we'll see you here in the next video guys peace